Hey, how you doing? My name is Michael Chin, and I teach stage combat. I'm also a professional fight choreographer. I work out in New York City, and I belong to an organization called the Society of American Fight Directors, of which I hold the status of fight master. This guy next to me is... Uh, I'm, I'm Matthew Ellis. Uh, I teach at the University of Oklahoma. I'm a certified teacher with the Society of American Fight Directors, and I'm also a professional fight director as well. Okay, so today we're going to show you a technique. Uh, I'm going to punch Matt out for your enjoyment, for my pleasure. Uh, we're going to do it. I'm going to show you how we do it on stage. Then we're going to show you how you do it on film, right? The important thing uh, in punching somebody out is to make it look realistic while at the same time making sure nobody gets hurt. So if I was really hit Matt, the punch would come across his face that way. So I am making contact. We don't want to make contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come down a little further stage than Matt is, and my fist is going to pass his face. So if you notice, Matt is actually waiting for the fist to come, and as the fist goes by, he actually looks at it going past him. Now, if we do this, it's all well and good, but what's missing is what's called a sound or a nap. Right? The nap is a sound that's created to give the illusion that something is being hit. Right? We have two kinds of naps. We have what's called a clap nap, and we have what's called a body nap. Right? Usually for punches, we prefer the body nap. Right? So real slow, what I'm going to do as I punch Matt out is I'm going to sneak my hand up here and give myself a little wrap on the pectoral muscle, creating an illusion that I'm hitting Matt. It looks like this. Oh. That's how we do it on stage, right? If we're doing it on film, we don't need to make the nap because everything is edited in later. It's called uh, what do you call it? Uh, looping, right? Or ADR or, or a Foley. Very good, thank you, Matt. It was called Foley. So you will have a Foley artist creating the sound. So for film, it would look like this. Okay? And hopefully someone just took care of us there. <laughs> okay? So the magic would be this for stage, right? And for film, it would be this, right? So you guys are in the prime seat to see how this works. Let's turn it around now. Suppose the audience was behind us, right? And you guys are now on the wings. So as you throw this punch, you notice I don't get anywhere close to Matt's face, right? There's a good four to six inches. And because on stage, and, and uh, primarily in film, Everything is flat, so depth perception is not a problem. You can't tell that my hand is actually six inches behind my other one, right? So if that's the case, why do we have to endanger our partner? We don't need to. So we don't ever need to get any closer than four to six inches, okay? That holds true for both film and stage. So if we were on stage, it would look like this, right? I don't want the audience to see me make the nap, so as I hit Matt, my hand falls down. So the audience doesn't see the nap, but they do see this. So all the stuff you've seen is fun, but there is a safety issue. So if you ever decide to do this, go slow, take care of your partners. Anything else, Matt? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>